Hey guys, what's up? I'm Captain Turbo, and welcome to Let's Play Alex Kidd in Miracle World for the Sega Master System. Uh, I'm not currently playing at the moment. Oh, I am. One second, I'll just restart this, shall I? That's not a very good start, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is Alex Kidd, as you can see. I believe this is the first Alex Kidd game in the series. There was about four or five of these games, I believe, and we'll just get started with me as well. Nothing much here, just a very simple title screen, which looks pretty nice. And yeah, um, this game I played for many, many years. This game actually came on, so I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. Uh, this game came uh, pre-installed into my Sega Master System, so um, you could play this without the cartridge. Although there were plenty of cartridge um, versions of this, I just never personally played it. Uh, but yeah, this is Alex Kidd, and he was originally the mascot for Sega. Um, I believe at least they tried to make him the mascot. Um, it's a sort of a... I don't want to exactly say a Mario clone, because it does have a few um, of its own original ideas, but it is very much a Mario-style platformer. You know, you usually tend to go... Um, right to left, although you can go up and down a few times like this. There is a little bit of backtracking as well, and I'm just going to show this off here, because if you get that ring up above, like you saw me get earlier, which I'll explain more about in a moment, this will change into a ghost. Now, ghosts can't be killed, and they are probably the deadliest enemies in this game. But I'm going into details about the game already, and I haven't fully explained the story. Um, in this story, I believe it's never actually brought up, but... Alex's father or brother or something like that, I can't remember, has been kidnapped and Alex is basically trying to save his family member, whichever one it is. But that's pretty much the entire story. Um, as I said, this isn't the only Alex Kid game in the franchise. There were quite a few for the mass system. Uh, there was one where Alex was basically in his home mansion and he was trying to find a p pieces to a map or something. Uh, to get to a new arcade or something like that anyway. Uh, there was an Alex Kid in a very dream land style look, uh, style setting. I never actually played that one either. Uh, it's about the, I think it's actually the only Alex Kid game I haven't played. Um, there was also a Shinobi ripoff which was actually a pretty fun game if I remember correctly. I never owned it but a friend of mine did and I actually did play it quite a lot. Now these blocks I'm breaking here, obviously most of them contain money. Now, in this game you will also buy a few, uh, uh, there's a few levels where you can buy items and stuff, which we'll see in the next level, actually. Uh, this block here contained the skull will temporarily paralyze you for just a few seconds, about two, maybe three seconds at tops. Uh, the question marks usually even contain items or ghosts, but more often than not they're a ghost, and um, opening one can actually affect what will be in a different one. Uh, the money bags come in two different sizes, big and small. I'm not really sure what is in each of them. I can't remember. I think this is supposed to be an extra life if I've done this correctly. Yep, there we go. And at the end of each stage, you have a rice ball. Although I believe in uh, a few adaptations of this game. Well, not a few adaptations, a few different uh, ports. It's actually a uh, beef burger, cheeseburger, or whatever the hell. And this is the store. Um, that ring there, I already have one. You can't have multiple of each item, unfortunately, so, you know, you're stuck with what you have. And don't bother getting that if you already got the one in level 1, because you're just going to waste 100 currency, whatever. Uh, the bike, obviously, will get you through the level faster, but it only lasts for one level. Uh, this actually grants you temporary invincibility. Uh, probably will be using that sometime later. Uh, this bike can go at multiple speeds, you know, you just press left to go a little bit faster. You can also jump with it. Uh, I'm going about... I'm just going to stick to this speed so I can continue to collect money. I might speed up there uh, now and then over these parts, but... You know, I don't want to miss out on all this money, because money's good, and I'm going to need it later. Uh, the enemies are pretty obvious in what they do. The scorpions here will just run along the floor. The frogs will jump in place. Uh, the, the scorpions, I will admit, can be a bit tricky in a few stages, because you can't sometimes see them very well. Uh, the yellow blocks, whatever, they can be broken. There's a couple that can't. They're either blue or grey, I can't remember what colour. Uh, these also come in a different variety of colours, these little circular platforms. The red ones can't be broken. The, the, 
blah, 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 but the blue ones can. <clears throat> and anyway, we're at our first technical boss, technically a boss. Um, Stonehead, you basically only play, oh, one second, fucking HP update thing. I'll let you read that for a second, guys, and I'll keep explaining why I get rid of this. Um, in this game, you have essentially have to play uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors, or Jenkin as it's known in Japan. Sorry, guys, I'm pretty sure that's going to be on screen. I'm going to try and get that out of there in one moment. Uh, wait. But yeah, you, you'll, um, there's actually a simple pattern here. They, I don't think any of them actually changed their patterns. I, I know this guy doesn't. I know how to beat him. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Hopefully I can just get rid of this piece of crap. Just want it gotten rid of. Ah! Go away! There, I think I got rid of it. Fucking thing. Every time I record, that thing pops up. But here's a little jingle I like from this game. Uh, the first boss is always very, very easy to remember. It's stone and then scissors. I played this since I was like three years old. I, I could remember this in my sleep. I could play this boss in my sleep. Yeah, you'll get a little indicator above your head to show which um, you've chosen. Uh, you can get an item later in the game which will show what the boss is currently choosing. Uh, however, you have to go out your way a little bit to get it, but I'll show it off in a bit. Uh, this, I didn't actually know there was a second path in this level. I'll show you guys, and I've off-screened that. Oh, I haven't. I just got it. I thought I'd off-screen that just a bit, yeah, because if you, uh, you cannot backtrack in certain levels. You can in a, I don't think you can anyway. No, you can't. Uh, there's a few levels you can backtrack in, and I believe if you hit that octopus down there, should I show you guys? Yeah, I'll show off the alternate method. Use your invincibility. At least I hope this is the right one anyway. Go into your screen select, which is actually this. I'm going to show you this as well. Uh, the Alex icons over there rec represent your lives. The money bag with the number next to it is your money. The ring obviously is another item I have in my inventory. The score, you know, explains itself. And there you have the map. We have to travel all, ac all across that map pretty much. There's about... 20 levels or something like that. Anyway, let's get back to the game. And that did not work for some reason. Did I fuck that up? Yeah, it's gone. Oh well. Guess I'm not showing it off. Uh, but yeah, there's an alternate path down there. There's really not much to say about it. It's just a quicker path. I'm not going to risk it though if I don't have my invincibility, so... Uh, the handling in these warrior stages is pretty good, actually. It's not too bad, um, you know, if you just hold your composure, you know, you keep your hand always on the direction pad. Never let go of it, because you may end up um, veering off somewhere you don't know. So if, if you don't press anything, like, I'm just going to go to the bottom here one second. If you go down, you don't press anything, Alex will just sit, um, float, like a rock, uh, float like a bucket or whatever. Um, you can speed up if you press the, keep your finger on the jump button while you're underwater. You, that'll help you to swim a bit faster. And I'm going to showcase what I said earlier. As I said, the blue ones here can be broken. Uh, the red ones can't. Um, this level is actually where things start to get a little bit trickier now. Because while this game doesn't have terrible controls, it does have a bit of a slippery motion to it. I... Imagine the original Super Mario Brothers, but only a bit worse. And this is actually very difficult to do. I'm surprised I landed on that. Well, well, I'm not going to be picky. And if you see down there, there's actually a scorpion that's pretty difficult to see. Uh, however, I like it. I know that it was there, so I'm not going to screw up. Just keep punching my way. Get rid of him. Yeah, I'm not going to bore you guys, but actually, I'm just going to go around. Let's see what this old timer has to say. 
Welcome, Alex. You know what? I'm not gonna read it. You guys can read it for yourself. I'm gonna read along in my head. <laughs> Jenkin the Great, so... A rock, paper, scissors champion, perhaps? But yeah, it was actually, um... Yeah, it does actually tell us. Yeah, grab that one. Don't forget. That's the helicopter. Don't forget to grab that. Because you can get a lot of money in this stage if, as long as you remain the helicopter. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember. I can't. It will tell you in a later stage if it's your father or your brother you're trying to save. I just can't remember which it is for now. If you accidentally run into one of those red things with your um, propellers at the top, you will lose the helicopter. You won't die. You'll just be sent into the underwater section. But. The problem is the underwater section doesn't have as much um, cash to gra uh, <laughs> cash to grab, so um, I would definitely recommend staying above water for this one. You can also shoot this little projectile, which has decent range, so you'll not really be in any danger as long as you, you know, take your time. As I said, this part just pretty much repeats, but there's a lot of money on for grabs here, so I would definitely rec recommend you try getting as much as you can. And now I'm pussing out a bit by not really going for the ones that are closer to the um, ceilings, but yeah, I'm just going to actually showcase what happens here. Hit that, and I nearly got hit by that thing there. Stay away, stay away. Oh! Flipping hell! Oh, I thought I got hit again there. But yeah, that's what happens when you die anyway. That was bad. Let me just check what I have. Uh, yeah, I just have that ring, don't I? So yeah, we have another helicopter here for grabs. Uh, the A, I can't remember which one this does. Uh, there's basically... I think the A actually creates a lot of small clones. I'm just going to get the extra life while I'm here. Um, basically, you'll see it a little bit later. I'll showcase it in the jungle level. It's coming up very shortly. In fact, I'm going to have to play this level and then end the part, so it'll be the next part probably. Also, yeah, as you can tell, the uh, helicopter has its own music, so... Which is actually quite kind of peaceful. I'm not going to lie, it's not bad. Yeah, in terms of the music in this game, it's, not, it's actually not bad. I mean, it's not my favorite Sega soundtrack. I mean, obviously, I love the Sonic music uh, pretty much in all the games. Uh, this one doesn't have a few bad tracks. Like, I love the um, first stage. I'm not a big fan of the underwater stuff. Gotta be honest, it's a little bit too... Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, guys. It's a bit too calm if... Uh, calm if I can explain it any other way. It's a little too soft. It's, it suffers from a lot of uh, water level music, like the same in Mario and stuff like that, so... Unfortunately, here guys, you can't take... I don't know what the hell those are on the floor. Don't even ask me to explain them. Uh, you can't take the helicopter any further. Break that. And you have a boss, a bull. You may as well use your ring on this. You're not going to use it any other time, really. I think this thing takes eight hits, maybe ten, I can't remember. That's four, five, six. He will get progressively faster as well. This guy... Yeah, it's your older brother. I couldn't remember if it was your brother or your father you were uh, trying to save. But, um... We're 14 minutes in. I'm actually going to end this uh, right here. We're in, in the mountain, but we're not going to be starting this one. We'll start this next time. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time where we tackle the cave and we continue with the game. So, until then, guys, until then.